Okay, me and my wife, we're, we're part of the homeless situation out here. We lost our job, we don't have no money, but we, the, right now what's happening here at the park, which is Library Park, Margaret Hans Park, a lot of the cops have been hassling the homeless, stopping people from going and feeding, and we're, we just wanna let people know that the homeless is not part of the problem, it's people that don't care. They want to take the, that right away from people wanting to help us come out here and feed the people and give us food. And they're stopping that. They're telling people. And, and it's not just affecting the homeless. It affects everybody that comes in the park that they can't have blankets on the ground. They call that, consider that urban camping. Or if you sit on a backpack, they consider that urban camping too. That's against everybody's civil rights. And it just doesn't affect the homeless, it affects everybody that comes into this park and every citizen that has. This is a public park and they shouldn't be doing that. It's made for the people, not just for the cops, but the cops think they're the boss and they're going to run them all out. And that's what they're doing. That's not right. They have no right. And I don't care if they like it or not, but they better learn. They can't get away with that. Do you want to say anything about being a former police officer? Pardon? Do you want to say anything about being a former police officer? I was a former police officer in, in Florida. And I know about things like this, but I never knew it was this bad. This is terrible. I've never heard of such a thing. This urban canning, I, I think that was somebody's dream and they put it in the book to try to make it a law. It's not right. That's not a constant. I don't think it's so much the cops. I think it's more the, the politicians that are that are pushing it. They're and money hungry. That's all they want. The cops, Anything to make money. The cops, they're just following what, what, what the higher-ups tell them to do. It's not all the cops. It's everybody that tells them they have to follow orders, too. It's the politicians that are doing this. And they should better take another look before it's too late and it's getting too late pretty quick because there's a lot of people out here that don't like this. Not only homeless, but the other people too because they can't even come out and enjoy the park anymore either because they're afraid, well, if they put a blanket down, they'll kick us out. And they will. That's what they've been doing. They kick everybody out that brings in food, drinks, or anything else, and it's not right. They're taking their rights away from them, and that's not right. So if anybody's listening, I hope you all get together and just start writing to the mayor or doing something. Something's got to be done to stop this before it's too late. I sure you can talk to anybody that walk around here that's homeless and they're going to say the same thing. They don't like it either. These people will die if, if people don't help. That's what human, but that's what people are for. They're supposed to help each other, but not here, not this town. They don't help nobody but themselves, and that's it. So just look around, you talk to anybody you see walking, and 90% of the time it's going to be one of the homeless. And they'll let you know just how they feel about it, and they should. That's their right. They can't take their rights away from them. And that stands for me, my husband, anybody here. Because the homeless are citizens too. Just We've like got feelings else. and everything just like everybody else does, but they don't believe that. We're not good enough. We're no good because we're homeless. They can be homeless in, in five minutes just as quick as we can. One paycheck and they can be just right out here with the rest of them. And maybe they should. They've learned something. You can't tell what it's like unless you've been through it. And they need to come out here and try it, see how they like it. And I guarantee you, they ain't gonna like it. It's not easy, it's hard. It's heartbreaking, that's what it is.
but they do, these people up here just don't care. That's the main thing. They have no feelings. I don't know what you want to call them, but I call them hypocrites. That's what they are. 90% of these people here are hypocrites. They don't know what hard living is. They got it easy. Well, they can fall back and be right out here with us too. Just like we did. We didn't ever expect this. It just happened. Things happen to everybody. So, is that anything else? I think that covers everything we know. Okay, well, thanks for talking to me. Okay, and yeah, I'll, thanks uh... for being out here. <laughs> We're talking for all the homeless people out here, every one of them. I don't care who they are or where they come from. They're homeless, they're part of it. Thanks. I'm talking for everybody. Okay. That's the way we feel. That's the way we all feel.